Hi, my name is Jill Triplett and I'm a zookeeper here at Brex Baton Rouge Zoo. And who we have here right now is Rowan. He's our male reticulated giraffe and he is 13 years old. So I wanted to teach y'all a couple of things about him and we're going to be feeding him some lettuce right now. It's one of their favorite snacks. So besides what they eat in the morning and the afternoon, we'll give them plenty of treats. So one of their favorite treats obviously is lettuce. So uh, they love leafy green things, but besides that as well, they can eat other vegetables. They love to eat broccoli. I, I actually have some of that with me as well. Um, and then besides that, we'll cut up some uh, sweet potatoes sometimes. Um, <laughs> basically any treat they basically love. And once the treats are gone, they're gone. But so to teach you a little bit about him, uh, their tongues are very long. On average, their tongues can be about 20 inches long. And we're gonna try and get him to stick out his tongue really far for this lettuce. And so also about their tongues, their tongues are prehensile. And what that means is that they can kind of use their tongues like we use our hands. So they'll wrap it around the lettuce to grab it. And so they'll also use their tongues in that way in the wild whenever they eat off of branches. So they'll wrap their tongue around that branch and then they slide it all the way down the branch so they can get all those leaves off. But they don't particularly eat branches themselves. They'll just pick all the leaves off. <laughs> And as you can see, their attention gets grabbed very easily. And once it's on something, they focus for a really long time. Rowan has been here since he's been about two years old. And so just recently, he is a newborn father. We have a baby, his name is Burrow. And Burrow is about, uh, he's actually gonna be 12 weeks tomorrow. So he'll be three months old tomorrow. Reticulated giraffes are just one of nine different types of subspecies that are left in the wild. Unfortunately for giraffes, they've become endangered. So within the last year, there are about less than 90,000 giraffes in the world. And even though that might sound like a big number, it's a big hit for them. So them being in the zoo and being an ambassador animal can really be a help to them. So they get lots of attention, lots of love.